Let's tie our skein of yarn into a knot and then dye it. Ultimately, this is just another way of adding resist to our yarn. With our yarn tied up like this, the dye is gonna be able to access part of the yarn faster than the areas that's within the knot. And so it's gonna give us a color difference. But today I'm actually using a mixture of a black and a fluorescent pink. And because I know that the black dye strikes to yarn faster than that neon fluorescent pink, we're gonna end up with some amazing color breaking where we'll see sections of black, uh, pale pink, because I didn't use that much of the pink dye, and then hopefully, probably some white or a very pastel color as well. Unlike other types of resists, these knots I tied started to shift as I removed the yarn from the dye bath. And so immediately we could see some of that color breaking that we had. And originally I was going to re-knot the yarn and dye multiple layers of color, but I loved where we ended up with just one round here that I stopped. So I need to do this again because it was a lot of fun. And I mean, I don't know if in the end, I'm gonna like it better than dyeing twisted skeins of yarn, which stay put, <laughs> hold together better. But I enjoy trying new and different and slightly silly things when it comes to yarn dyeing. Uh, if you wanna see more of this project, go and check out Dye Pot Weekly 590 on the Chemnitz Tutorials YouTube channel.